The Detroit Lions were a half hour away from their first Super Bowl att- appearance, and who knows, we might have been prepping for a parade right now, but alas, we did not make it. And we, because we went so far, we had a postseason, and we went deep into the playoffs, we have not talked about the NFL draft at all. And it's been fantastic. I could get used to this doing this every year. Being on this side of the fence, I like the view from over here. But I was thinking today, did a show, uh, Rocked On Podcast, and I have a show, Rocked On Syndicate, Rise and Grind Morning Show airs on Tuesdays and Thursdays for now at 8.30 a.m. And something came up that was intriguing. We talked about the NFL draft and how we would be diving more into the draft as the weeks uh, went past. And it's already February 13th. So before you know it, we'll be prepping, literally prepping for the draft to happen in Detroit. But I start wondering, Brad Holmes has had early picks his entire time in Detroit. When he took over the job in 2021, we had the seventh overall pick. We took Panay Sewell. The second year, we had the second overall pick. We picked Aiden Hutchinson. The third year, we had the 18th overall pick. We still had the Rams' sixth overall pick. So we took, we wind up taking uh, Jameer Gibbs after we traded from 6 to 12. So we picked at 18 and 12. Well, this year, Brad Holmes will have the lowest first round pick of his time, meaning the highest first round pick. High, low, you know what I'm trying to say. The lowest, as in draft position, because it's high. At pick number 29, the Baltimore Ravens have 20, the Baltimore Ravens have 30, the San Francisco 49ers have 31, and the Kansas City Chiefs have number 32. And I think that the Detroit Lions are going to do some massive, make at least one big move in free agency, and that is going to be the defensive line, in my opinion. But I got a question for you. In the press conference, the season-ending press conference, I want to say it was. No. It was, man, somebody put it in the comment section. It wasn't the season-ending press conference. It might have been when he interviewed with Danny Rogers about, and he said something that caught my eye. I can't remember exactly where I heard it. He said, I hope I'm not tempted to trade back. I hope nobody tempts me to trade back. And that instantly got me thinking. Because he did it, he traded up to get Jamison Williams in 2022. In 2023, he traded back and took Jameer Gibbs. Now, I can assure you that Brad Holmes doesn't give a fart about that the draft is being held in Detroit. You think that he's going to care that Lions fans could potentially be waiting three hours for pick number 29 just to hear him trade back and out of the first round. But it got me to thinking... Will Brad Holmes trade out of the first round? And how would you feel if he did? Now, here is our current draft picks for 2024. We got no more Rams, so the Rams icon is gone. We have the third round pick from TJ Hawkinson. We have no f- fourth round pick. I want to say this like the either last year we didn't have a fifth rounder or something like that. It's the the, the Fourth round, and it's kind of weird. It's like, I don't think we've had a fourth rounder in a couple years, but it's either one of these two picks that we didn't have, a fourth or fifth. So the Detroit Lions are picking at 61, but they're picking at 29. And I'm wondering if the Detroit Lions will trade out of the first round to get more capital on the back end. Now, I was having a conversation. Again, you guys got to check check out Rock Doing Syndicate. We have a show, and the show was fantastic today. And we talked about how Will brought up how the Arizona Cardinals have a plethora of picks. They have 13 picks. Only six of them are theirs. They have seven. They have more picks from other teams than they do their own. And they have a boatload of picks. And I think with that fourth pick, they are going to take Marvin Harrison Jr. But... What if the Detroit Lions trade out of the first round? At 29, who are you going to take? Who are you going to take? Now, let's look at what Tankathon, one of my favorite sites to look at when it comes to mock draft. Seems like just yesterday we were talking about this. At pick number 29, the Detroit Lions are taking Ennis 
Rank Straw Jr. from Missouri, cornerback. Now, the Detroit Lions need a cornerback. They do. But nobody is really going to be clamoring to come up into the first round at 29, is my opinion. But let me see. I don't know off the top of my head who has the least amount of picks. I'm not sure. But there could be a team that, depending on how the draft falls, there could be a guy sitting there that another team has his eye on, and they decide, you know what? Kind of like we did for Brian Branch, because if you remember, we wind up trading up to get Brian Branch. We did not have the 45th pick, I don't think. I think we, if I remember correctly, we wind up trading up because he kept falling and falling and falling, and Brad Holmes wanted to make sure that we took him, so we did. That's right, because we took Sam Laporta, then we, we traded up to get Brian Burns. Brian Branch. I keep I keep doing that. Brian Branch. So could the Detroit Lions trade out of the first round? That's question number one. And two, how would you feel if they did trade out of the first round? I really don't know off the top of my head outside of like Lamar Jackson and, and things like that. Clyde Edwards Lair, guys that have gone late first. Okay. DeAndre Swift. He went very early second. So you have guys that could go late and go early, right? So just a, a video I, I started thinking about based on Brad Holmes' comments and the discussion that Will and I had today on the show is could the, and, and could the Detroit Lions trade out of the first round? I think it's a huge possibility. I mean, because let me see. I don't really know, like I said off the top of my head, if you guys want to put in the comment section, name a late first rounder, not name Lamar Jackson. When I say late, pick 29 or later that was impactful on this team. I'm sure there are some out there. But like I said, Brad Holmes' comment is, I hope I'm not tempted to trade out of the first round. Because that means the wheels are already turning in motion that he's trying to get more capital. He gave up capital to come up, come up and get Jamison Williams. He took more capital to come up, come go back and get Jameer Gibbs, right? So I wouldn't put it past Brad Holmes to trade out of the first round, even though the draft is in Detroit. You got to remember, our general manager, he is about making the team better. He does not care. And I'm glad he doesn't care. I mean, it's not like we're picking number one. We're picking 29. So if you're going to wait... I mean, who really are you going to take at 29? All right. So let me know in the comment section below if the Detroit Lions. So two questions. Would you want them to trade back? OK, it's a bunch of, a bunch of questions in this video. So just answer whichever one you want. But I got a question for you. If the Lions stay at 29, who would you want them to draft in the 2024 draft? Leave it in the comments below and consider subscribing to the YouTube channel. Kind of a really rough Jan February, but that's to be expected. The Super Bowl just ended. Kind of kind of this small lull period between the end of the season and like the start of free agency when that really starts to kick up, that there's really not a ton of stuff to talk about. But because the Detroit Lions went so deep in the playoffs, it, it, it I kind of got spoiled a little bit because there's instead of talking about the free agency January 9th, we're not talking about it until almost February. So that was fantastic. So I think that Brad Holmes is going to trade out of the first round. I just feel it in my bones that this guy is going to try to get massive capital. Let me see. What could he get? I'm going to make a, let me see, make an assumption here. If we trade it out of the first round for, and we're already just 29. Depending on, because it all depends on how far someone would have to come up. But the, the, you know, lesser they come up, the lower the pick would be. So you really, this is hard to, to kind of judge, but I would assume that he would try to get another second or third round pick. Like he's going to get multiple picks for coming out of the first round. Okay, if we remember correctly, the he gave up 32, 34, and something, 50 or 60 something to move up from 32 to 12. So he moved up 20 spots and gave up pick 32, 34, and a second round pick, right? So it really all depends, but picks or player? And if it is a player, who would you want it to be? And how would you feel if 
Brad Holmes trades out of the first round. But yeah, subscribe to the channel because we are trying to get to 20,000 subscribers. I'm literally trying to give the lion away, but and that's what I got sidetracked. That's why I was saying it's a kind of a slow I slow January I or February. I completely expect to be there by free agency. There's no doubt in my mind that when the tampering period starts, we're going to be there. So consider the quicker I get to 20,000, the quicker we do the giveaway. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. You guys are awesome. Take care of yourself and each other. And as always, go Lions.